After a report by James Intel that the Tejas Mark II program has hit a roadblock despite receiving clearance from the Cabinet Committee on Security, because one of the conditions set by the Ministry of Defense is that the funds will be released only after the U.S. firm General Electric provides transfer of technology for its F-414 engine for the program, experts have said that this delay in the release of funds could have significant repercussions for the program's timeline, which is already facing delays in the rollout of the prototype and the first flight. It was reported that delegation from 16 countries were seeking details of the Tejas Mark II at the Defense Expo, and repeated delays in the program might affect its export potential. The 100 km range TRDO developed smart anti-air field weapon is about to get an upgrade, as a new variant termed as SOV-2 has started fabrication, which will be a long-range standoff precision air-to-surface weapon with enhanced capabilities and longer range. The SOV-2 will incorporate an infrared imaging seeker housed in a spinal dome, that will improve accuracy and also protect the seeker from harsh environmental conditions. It will be equipped with automatic target acquisition capability to overcome GPS jamming navigation and target location errors in the engagement of fixed targets. The Indian Navy had inducted three MH-60R multi-role anti-submarine warfare helicopters in July 2022, and Lockheed Martin will deliver a total of 24 units by 2025, and as per latest information, the Indian Navy is planning to procure more MH-60R under the Foreign Military Sales Program from the US government. While the specific number of units to be procured is yet to be confirmed, but it is likely to be a smaller order in single digits. The general manager for market promotion and export of BrahMos Aerospace has said that the delivery of BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles to the Philippine Marines is expected to be completed by December 2023. The successful completion of the operator training indicates that the Philippine Marines is well on track towards operationalizing the missile system. He also said that most of all the technical issues have been finalized and the company is positive that the Philippines Army will also follow the footsteps of the Marines to sign a contract very soon. Idea Forge Technology Limited has launched its latest upgraded Netro V4 Pro UAV, that has a flight time of over 90 minutes, and an operational range of 15 kilometers. It features 20x HD optical zoom, 640 by 480 thermal camera with 4x digital zoom, and 400 meters target detection range, and also features terrain avoidance and tracing and target tracking, and can be used for a wide range of applications such as patrolling and search and rescue. In a significant move to promote reforms and ensure the ease of doing business, the Department of Defense Production has waived off quality assurance charges levied by the quality assurance agencies for the weapons meant for exports. This industry-friendly initiative would make defense products cost-competitive in the global market, as the charges are levied by the quality assurance agencies adds to the cost of the products, which adversely affects its cost-competitiveness. The armies of India and UK have concluded the 7th edition of the Ajaya Warrior Bilateral Exercise, that was conducted to increase interoperability and also to learn from each other. The Indo-UK joint exercise has given an ideal platform for sharing the drills and best practices of operation in urban and semi-urban environments.